Welcome to this episode of Locked In. In this episode, I'm gonna be telling you easy items that you can purchase for the cyclist in your life if you don't ride or don't know what kind of bike they own or kind of tires are compatible or how many gears they have, drivetrain has or anything like that. This is gonna be a video completely dedicated to items that any cyclist would really appreciate and you don't need to know anything about the specifics of their bike because I know buying a gift for a cyclist is a daunting task with compatibility issues and things like that. So I wanted to create a list that doesn't include socks because that's a given and everybody knows that, that literally no matter what kind of bike they own, you can find something in this that they should enjoy. So let's get started with this video. So I'm going to be going over a list of items in this video and I will have links for a complete playlist that I'll create and put the link in the description below so you can watch all of these items in more detail to find out more about them and if it's right for the cyclist in your life. So let's get started. The first two items are gonna be a set of tools. These are gonna be two tools I'd recommend that any cyclist in your life should enjoy and is probably a little bit nicer than what they have at home. And they are gonna be the Fix-It Sticks Ratcheting T-Handle. The nice thing with this is it is really convenient to use when working on your bike because it has a ratcheting top head. You can easily carry up to three bits on this. You do get an assortment of bits that comes with it as well. And since it runs off your standard bit size, they can easily replace these or get anything else that they desire in a standard bit to use around the house as well. So this kind of works great. And it has a nice convenient disconnect here. So you can use it in those hard to reach places plugged in like this or just storing it on the bikes. The other item that's great is gonna be a torque tool. This is a Topeak five newton meter torque tool. Everyone needs one of these. The reason mine's taped up is because I actually dropped it and it broke, so I retaped it back up, but don't worry, I've had this thing for like six years and it still works great. This is gonna also come with a assortment of your standard bike bits, but you can use those bits in conjunction with this other tool. So if you wanna get a kind of complete tool upgrade system, buy this as well as the Fix-It Sticks. But again, the five newton meter is pretty much the most standard one that they're gonna need for at minimum their seat post to make sure their seat doesn't slip on them. Next is gonna be a bike pump. Now I know there are tons of bike pumps out there and this was something that I've been kind of working on and I did a separate video of this, but this Lazine pump honestly has been my favorite for a road and gravel or mountain style pump that works kind of well for both. It isn't the fastest at the road pressures, but it's also really pretty good at the gravel or bigger mountain sized tires that I've run with and used this bike. It actually pumps up very quick and this is the small size. So they do actually have a bigger medium one, but I wanted something small and lightweight that would work for both. And I think this is kind of the Goldilocks pump for anybody who rides. They can simply use this on pretty much any bike they own. And again, it'll, all, it'll eventually work. This might not be as fast as a dedicated pump. And simply upgrading it with the original free range pump holder so you can easily move it between bike to bike. So if they do have multiple bikes, they're really gonna appreciate this little package right here. Next, we're gonna be talking about nutrition. This is something that I always recommend as a stocking fluffer or stuffer. If you're getting somebody one of these items, pick up a range of nutrition, obviously be mindful of their dietary restrictions, but the easiest thing to do in my opinion is hydration mix. This is something that pretty much every cyclist is gonna definitely use and you have less likely with the dietary issues with the ingredients typically found in most of these. And two things that I really do like are these Nun tablets. These are something that I've used over the years. They have multiple different flavors and you can get variety packs of these in case you're not sure what flavor they might like. And I actually really like these tubes to reuse for later to carry items with me on the bike as well. And this Osmo pre-hydration mix is something new. I've been liking it and using it a lot. This is something different that I hadn't never heard of before this, but this is actually something you can take pre-ride. So especially during those hot months or hot weather in general, this is a great thing to do to pre-hydrate yourself even better than just having water before you ride. So this is something that they probably haven't heard of or might be interested to try out and be a great gift. Next, maybe something slightly controversial is chamois butter. I am a huge fan of using chamois butter and if they haven't tried it, give them some and let them try it and see for themselves. It is definitely a little different experience when it first initially using it, but honestly, I can't go back, especially on those hot days when you're riding. This is something that I can't recommend enough. It's gonna be a great anti-chafing item that they're gonna use hopefully all year long, but especially for those longer day rides or again, bike packing for me, I like to carry a little extra bit of this so that I'm comfortable that second day. So if they're a long distance rider, this is something they definitely probably already use, but would definitely appreciate getting some more of. Then we have my Walls Cycling Cap. Now I really do like these. These are a universal fit and I do like this exact model. This is their lightweight version. I do have a full video going over this hat and some other styles, but I really do like this company. This is a very breathable cap. I really do enjoy the material quality and I've been using it regularly for years and it looks still brand new and I've washed it a ton of times. So this is something that some people just have never tried, but I really recommend this style specifically because of how well it breathes. So whether it's hot or even cold, you're gonna get some airflow over your head to 
regulate your heat and not overheat, especially in those hot summer months. And having that little cycling bill here that is easily foldable above and in front of your helmet is really, really nice. And I would definitely recommend this as a safe bet if they're going to try a cycling cap out. This has definitely been my favorite. Then the only item on this list that may be somewhat bike specific, but honestly, you're probably going to be okay with this, but this is going to be the Dynaplug Racer. So this is an item for people who, who ride tubeless tires. Now, if you don't know what that means, that's totally fine. If you can find out if they do ride tubeless, this is going to be an awesome upgrade. This basically is a plug that you can see here that easily is going to plug up any slashes in their tires for a quick and convenient repair when on the road. And I can't highly recommend this enough. And these plugs have been a game changer for me. But again, this is the only one that you might need to find out if they're at least tubeless, it means they're not running tubes. Then we're gonna get into lights. Every single bike, no matter what kind of rider you are, you're gonna need a set of lights eventually, either for awareness of other drivers or because you wanna ride more at night when the time changes. So these are two lights that I have independent reviews for. These are the Olight RN400 and RN1500. So the output for these are gonna be 400 lumens and 1500 lumens. So depending on how much money you wanna spend, everyone is gonna appreciate either light, trust me. Either this light being a lot smaller than probably what they're running currently, with a great set of battery life and small compact form factor, or this at 1500 lumens is probably higher output than what they currently have, or again, it's just newer tech and slightly smaller than what they're running because there is no external battery pack, which a lot of lights have at this output. So this is an easy upgrade that will work with any kind of bike. It comes with all the kinds of mounts, no matter what kind of handlebar they have, this light will work. And lastly, I'm a huge fan of the handlebar bag and I can't recommend Kai Ventures handlebar bags enough. I have both reviews of the smaller version of this as the minimalist or the all day version, like you see here that I have in the playlist below. This is a great add on. And if this is too big for the cyclist or you wanna save a little bit of money, they do have, again, two different sizes depending on what you wanna get. They have this in a custom color way. So if you wanna make something truly unique, you can customize it to your heart's content, or you can get a simple black or solid color version. So if purple's not their thing with the splatter on the side, you can, again, order whatever color you'd like. They do these all by hand, and these are all made in the USA. And they have a great plethora of other products, but again, the handlebar bag is, I think, the most universal because everyone could use one, in my opinion. So I hope you like that. If you have any comments or other great generic, let's call them, cyclists, gift suggestions besides socks, put them in the description below. And I hope you like this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do and hit the thumbs up button. It really does help out the channel as well as you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram and you can help support the channel with my Slow But Look Pro merch and is my Bike OK shirts I just released. As well as for my Patreon supporters, I do offer one-on-one -on -one cycling consultations at my top two tier levels and all those links for all that is in the description below. And lastly, thanks for watching this episode of Locked In. Let's get locked in today.